The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Uh, Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Premier. The Premier spoke yesterday again about his plan to balance the budget in four years. Now, the four-year fiscal plan he presented to the House shows that his path to get there includes a drop in departmental expenses next year of over $200 million. Now, since the Department of Health and Wellness represents 46% of the government's spending, that means that the Department of Health is going to have to cut $96 million from its budget next year in order to meet the government goal. Uh, Mr. Speaker, will the Premier tell the people of Nova Scotia how he plans to take $96 million out of the health budget? The Honourable Premier. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And what we have is an achievable plan uh, before the hosts. Uh, we made some strategic investments in this uh, budget. M much of the spending that uh, both parties opposite have been asking for would have put us in a more uh, challenging position. I said yesterday that I will not support uh, putting this province back into structural deficits that predated our government. Uh, this is the only party now in Nova Scotia that advocates uh, for balanced budgets, and I'm proud of that. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. <clears throat> This is the only party that in 2015 cut the film tax credit. It is the only party that then uh, cut the funding grants to the Schizophrenic Society of Nova Scotia and the Alzheimer's Society of Nova Scotia and the Eating Disorders of the Society of Nova Scotia. And it is the only party that took millions in 2016 out of the nursing home budget. The, the, the health minister at the time called that a belt tightening year. Mr. Speaker, I think the Premier owes the people of Nova Scotia a straight answer. How does the government plan to further tighten the belt around the health budget over the next three years? The Honourable Premier. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm very proud of the increases uh, of investments in the core of what government should be do provincially. We're increasing uh, health care spend spending so we can modernize. We're spending record amounts in infrastructure so that we can attract world-class health care providers here to the province. We're increasing our spending education as we've done. That party cut $60 million, $65 million out of education, which we reversed. We created the biggest social program of a generation with pre-primary, which both parties opposite voted against. I'm proud of the fiscal responsibility that this party continues to stand for, and that will continue. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. This is not a history lesson. I'm talking about the present budget that is before us. It says that $209 million is what the government is going to take out of government expenses this next year. That's more than the budgets of agriculture, energy and mines, environment and climate change, and fisheries and aquaculture all combined. Mr. Speaker, can the Premier give his word? to the nurses and the CCAs and the teachers and the EPAs and all the frontline people in the province of Nova Scotia that there will be no layoffs on his path to a balanced budget. The Honourable Premier. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thought I was getting some history advice from the member with his uh, first question. Uh, the reality is some of the places that he's referencing did need support. Uh, we've invested in <coughs> mental health. We've invest invested in long-term care. Historic investments, a hundred million increase to long-term care. That's what I said would, would be my priority immediately on day one, and it is. We continue to look at capital upgrades across the province. I firmly believe that we should not be burdening future generations with the programs that we're incurring today. That's a principle of this party. We're going to continue to look at ways that we can grow the economy in record ways as we went before the pandemic. We were leading in economic growth, uh, best economic performance in decades in this province that helps support more revenue into the province, revenue that we can use for health care services and education services. And we're going to continue to work from a balanced approach to ensure that we have fiscal capacity for future generations. Yeah, yeah, yeah.